Hello, I'm going to be doing a review of the books I've read so far this year, uh, now that we are about halfway through the first month. So far I've read seven books, of which about six of them were in paperback form, or I have in paperback form, and one of them I don't, so I'll be including a picture of it instead of showing it. And I will have my notes and reviews in front of me from my reading journal, which will be coming in another video, so you'll be able to see what my reading journal looks like. The first book I've read so far this year was Blitz by Alexa Martin. It published in 2019, um, and I read it in six days, from the 31st to the 5th. Read it in paperback only, and I rated it three stars. My notes were, it was a very cute sports romance book, which is one of my favorite genres. Uh, the ending felt a little rushed to me, and Brent and Maxwell are a very cute couple, but I wish the conflict had been a bit more well-rounded. Um, it really felt like they moved on from fighting to being in love very quickly to me. So, Blitz, three stars. The next book in my list is The Long Game. Uh, this one I started reading on the 5th and I finished on the 11th. It is a romance book, Elena Armas. I have read two other books by Elena Armas, so I thought I would try it out when I saw she had published a new book. I also rated this one three stars. Uh, I said Adeline and Cam were a really cute couple whose miscommunication was seen from a mile away. Uh, the book took me a while to get into, and it just wasn't necessarily my favorite trope. While I am a fan of Forks Proximity, this specifically wasn't my favorite. Uh, but I am excited to see if something happens between Josie and Matthew, who we got a little preview of something in the, um, in the epilogue, so I'll be excited to see if that happens. Once again, The Long Game, three stars. The next book I've read was The Seven Year Slip. This was my first five-star read of the year. It is by Ashley Poston. Poston, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. The Magical Romance book came out last year, and I read this in a day. Um, I listened to it while I was reading it as well, which is part of why I think I was able to get through it so quickly. Um, I said that Clementine's experience with growth grief and love is so relatable even with the magical apartment you're able to really relate to her as a character um the experience of finding yourself after a heartbreak but also again and finding yourself in a new love is really universal and i've really loved how clementine and yuan's story just came to be so i really enjoyed this one highly suggest five stars the next book for me is forget me not by julie soto came out last year and this one I read in just over a day from the 8th to the 9th. And I listened to it instead of reading it, which it was kind of funny. I had the paperback book the whole time, but I, for some reason I almost exclusively listened to it on audiobook. This one was a four-star read for me. And I said that Amma and Elliot were such a cute couple with very few surprises. Um, it's a very sweet romance read if you want to just happily ever after story and you want to get exactly what you expect from it. So... And that's and so it was a cute four star read. The next book for me that I have finished is Game On by Ceresia Glass. Um, it's a romance book that came out at the very end of last year. And I read this in a day as well on the 16th. Uh, it's a paperback book that I listen, I didn't listen to it at all, but it was a four star read for me. Uh, Samara and Aaron were just a super cute couple who faced a lot of challenges between being an interracial couple, an interable couple. Um, I love how attentive Aaron is to Samara's needs, and the conflict was not fully formed to me, and that's the only reason it's not a five-star read. I did really enjoy just seeing their relationship, and yeah, highly suggest Game On. So, four-star read. The next book was the one that I do not have in physical copy yet. I will probably get one though, and that is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. It is a fantasy young adult novel, and it's pretty large. It's 528 pages. So I say pretty large. It's not that large, but it's a larger book. And it took me about two days to read, and I listened to it exclusively on audiobook. For this one, I use my Spotify Premium, so I get 15 hours of audiobook, audiobook listening per month. So I used that on this book. And it is also a five-star read for me. So I really did enjoy it. And I will probably be getting a physical copy of it. Peyton and Kai shared moments that shocked me and gave me all of the feels. Um, 
the surprise at the end was just like a chef's kiss in my opinion really loved it um I enjoyed the politics, and if you're not a fantasy person who likes politics, this will probably not be the book for you. But if you are a person who likes fantasy politics, this is the play for you to go. Um, I thought there was really great world building, and I just cannot wait for book two, which comes out I think in July. Um, I have so many questions. Like, will Pay or will Kai be able to forgive Pay? Will a uh, cat or Kit have gotten over his issues? Like, I have so many questions cannot wait for the next book and I will almost definitely be pre-ordering it which is I'm excited about. And the last book I have finished so far this year is called Plot Twist. It's by Erin La, La Rosa. Um, it's a romance book that came out last year, 327 pages. And this one I listened to and I read physically and I finished this in a day. This was a four-star read for me and I said that I loved Sophie's uh, quest to find love by better understanding herself. Dash's views made him very, like, Dash's point of views made him feel like a well-rounded person. I feel like sometimes in a romance book where you're getting two perspectives, the male perspective or the non-primary character's perspective can be very much focused only on the other character and how they see them, and it can be really hard to, like, understand them as a full person. But with Dash's perspective, you're able to see things that helped farther his end. Sophie's love story, but also just like gave you more insight into who he was uh, or is. And it really had me rooting for their story. So I really was happy with it. Best friend, it has a best friend's brother trope, which is often hit or miss for me, but in this one, it was very much a hit. So four star read here. And these are the seven books I've read so far this year. Ah, I tried. <laughs> so again, it's plot twist. Game On, Forget Me Not, Seven Year Slip, The Long Game, and Blitz. Uh, three stars, three stars, five stars, four stars, four stars, four stars, and then Reckless, which I do not, or sorry, not Reckless, Powerless, which I do not have in physical copy yet, but that was also a five star read. So these are my books I've read so far this year, and I will be doing more reviews as I get through more books. Thanks for watching.